guys! So today's video is going to be a video on my Halloween makeup and what kind of Halloween makeup do I use. I wanted to do this video honestly last year and I was too late and I didn't want to post it like in in like February because you'll be like okay but Halloween already passed. So this year I'm doing this video earlier for you guys so like that you can actually prepare yourself if you have a specific look that you want to do but you don't know what kind of makeup to get. This is a good video and hopefully it's going to help you. I don't really have much products but I use products that I absolutely really love uh, from experience using it from the past Halloween and the one before and I absolutely just really really love them and I really want to share with you guys. I'm going to be doing another video on my Halloween contact lenses because I do have a few, not a few like thousands but I have like maximum I think 10 to 15 if I'm not mistaken even less maybe I really want to do that video too if you guys are interested just let me know in the comments down below and I will do that for you guys so since I already posted one early Halloween video if you guys haven't seen it it's called the lizard queen that I posted on my channel you can go ahead and check it on there it's pretty awesome I really really liked it and it looked really really cool and kind of like 3d ish looking I mean from me editing a video this is what I saw and I was really really proud of my work and I'm like you know what I want to really share with you guys what kind of makeup that I use because I normally in Halloween videos I normally don't talk I just show you the product and I do it on myself because if I talk the video is going to be so long and I'd rather just do it all fast motion with add some music in there and it's basically easier for me so this is why I do that and but I write all the products in the info box so like that if ever you're interested to see what I use you can go ahead and see on there but this is a video that's gonna show you and hopefully help you with certain makeup that I use in my Halloween videos I'm going to start off with my top favorite 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 palette ever I got this palette on my birthday I think uh, four years ago when I graduated from makeup school if I'm not mistaken and I got this gift from my mom this is my Mehron face paint palette this is a water activated face paint palette and this is amazing it goes about for I think almost like a hundred dollars hundred and fifty dollars but it's really worth it I know it's a little bit expensive it is worth it and you can find it on the Mehron website or, or you can just go on Google and write the Mehron face paint palette you're gonna definitely see it I think I bought mine from a clown makeup website uh, when well, my mom bought it for me and um, and it was really awesome so I'm gonna show you it it's it's really really huge it comes mine is a bit messy so please don't mind it I like it when it's messy because it shows me I'm like an artistic or something like that <laughs> so it comes with like a plastic paper that has all the names on here of the colors which I don't really use that much because I'm just very visual so I don't really care about the names and it comes with like a foam thing so like that your your paint stays protected so I do keep this one and I have to tell you guys that this stuff smells like a vacation. It smells like coconut and it's so, so good. Oh, I can sniff this palette all day. I'm not even joking. This is an amazing, amazing palette and it looks like this. You have a lot of colors in here. So you have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you have almost 30 colors in this palette and they are really big sizes and you don't really need a lot to use it since it's water activated. You want to make sure that you don't really take too much because if you do, it's just it's going to run because you have a lot of water on your brush or on your sponge. So you just basically need to work with it, which is really, really cool. And you have what I really like about this. You have three whites. My white is kind of yellow because it's dirty. And you have three blacks, which is amazing. And you do have a silver and a gold, like two metallic right here. And you have different shades of certain colors. Like you have two purples, two pinks, um, two orange, two uh, yellow, three green, four blue, two browns, um, a red as well, which is really, really cool. I absolutely love this palette and I absolutely recommend you this palette. I mean, if you are a starter into face paint makeup or more of a dramatic artistic makeup, then this is a palette to have because it's worth it. It's really good quality. And just to let you guys know that I am allergic to Ben Nye, so it kind of sucks. Mehron is the only brand that I'm not allergic to when it comes to more artistic makeup. 
and uh, MAC as well. I'm not allergic to MAC either or uh, Makeup Forever. So, <laughs> but Bendai, as much as I love Bendai, I am allergic to that company because I've tried, um, I've tried a while back their face paints and I just swole up like a frog. Like it's not even funny. And I tried their um, molding wax to create like, how do you call it? I think it's called the molding wax that you can create like pointy ears, pointy nose. You know, I tried to use that last year in my Maleficent look and uh, the next day or the day before I woke up and I was fully swollen where had I applied the wax. I didn't end up using it, but just the fact putting it on my skin, it just irritated my skin. So it kind of sucked. My ear got this big, my cheek got this big, my neck got this big. And I was like, what is this? My family and my boyfriend was like, what did you do to yourself? Are you insane? Um, but I'm willing to do whatever it takes on myself for the sake of makeup, to be honest with you guys. <laughs> so this is a palette that I absolutely recommend you guys and I love it so, so much. Next, I absolutely love this palette. This is a palette that I got when I was in makeup school, when I went to visit the Makeup Forever head office here in Canada. And I ended up getting it because I'm like, you know what, I'm so into artistic makeup and I can do so much with this palette. This is the Makeup Forever Flash palette and it's just, it's a cream palette actually. The only thing, the only downside about this palette is that if you don't set it with powder, it's definitely going to crease. And you do have a black and white in here too, a brown, yellow, pink, aqua, a coral, and red, blue, and green obviously, and silver, so, and gold. So you have all that in here, and you also have all the names written in the back. Now when you first buy this palette, or I think it says it in the back, um, it smells really, really strong by the way, because it's super creamy. Um, I think when I first bought this one, it tells you um, certain colors, yeah, like you have colors do not apply near the eye or colors do not apply near the lip so you need to uh, read that before you actually go ahead and buy it and use it I know I have like blue here because I tried it but it's definitely a palette to have if you are in artistic makeup I do really need the other one of this I think it's more on the muddier uh, dirtier colors which I really like and um, I don't know hopefully I will get that <laughs> that flash palette but for now, I have the uh, bright flash palette, but I do want their dirtier one, which is really cool. So yeah, I do recommend this palette as well if you are going into artistic makeup or you are an artistic person and you like to do face paint, body paints, and all that stuff. Then these are two products that I love and I do recommend you guys to get. I also like to use some MAC products too. I do go to MAC Pro at least twice a year or three times a year one of the one of the times I go it's when Halloween is on its doors and this is when I recently went to Mac Pro not too long ago um, but I'm gonna show you guys what I have oh there's one thing that I forgot to bring to show you guys let me just go get it last year I went to Mac Pro and I got myself the uh, cream stick or paint stick and I got myself a chroma cake in white now the only thing that I do not like about this chroma cake is that I've tried using it with water and with fix plus and it still cracked on my face when I had it on like when I would if I want to paint my whole face white and I would look closely and I would see the paint kind of cracking on my face and I hate that feeling the reason why I really love the Mehron palette the face paint palette is that the colors in that palette do not crack on my face for some reason I don't know why maybe because of I think there's coconut infused in them because they definitely smell like coconut. Um, but this one definitely cracks on my face. But what I like about this one though is that it's perfect for little details. Like if you want to create like a skull makeup and you want to do details of like the teeth and like around the eye or whatnot, this is great to have. But it will, I think it will still crack. But if you fix it or put powder on top, then it's gonna not crack as much. And this is in pure white. Next I got last year, which I really love. These are probably my favorite from MAC. Um, these are the paint sticks. And I'm like starting to get messy here. Um, this I got this in pure white. And this year, a few days ago, I got myself a brown one and a black one. And I do have them right here. These two. 
which I'm going to show you. These are amazing if you want to add, like in my um, the Lizard Queen video, I added the white to put some highlight and bring out the cheekbones, which worked really, really well. Especially right on top of the uh, face paint from Mehran. It did not crack, it did not. Um, sometimes you're going to see that it's going to leave like spots it did not leave any spots which I was really really happy with the result that I got in that makeup so um, I got the black black paint stick and um, I love them because they're long and they're amazing so this is the black one I do have a tutorial in mind that I'm going to be using the brown and the black and the white coming up soon and this is the brown I think the brown is really necessary to have if you want to create like a dirty muddy zombie skull kind of makeup which I do have something in mind as well that I want to create that I'm super excited about so these are probably my top favorites to use when it comes to face painting body painting and artistic crazy makeup I also bought two products that I've been eyeing for so long at Mac and I'm like you know what let me just go get them these are the pro performer HD airbrush makeup which I do not own an airbrush machine which I am dying to get one but they are so expensive and I just bought this because I can just use it with my brush and to get kind of like a sheer look which I do have again a look in my head I want to do using these so I got myself the pure white and the black black so I think Mac when it comes to artistic they all have the same name pure white black black or uh, brown black I think that I have here or deep brown there's they all have the same names so they look like this they look like the face and body bottles so this is in black and this is in white and you do have to shake this before you use it and it does have a sheer finish which is great if you want to create like a somewhat a white face but not too white face you still want your skin to peek through these are amazing to get and they're easy to blend so if you want to take it on your fingers and like smudge it somewhere then or on your body you can do this but hopefully I will get the chance to get myself a airbrush machine so I can try these and these are water based too which is amazing they are a little bit hard to take off because they're somewhat waterproof and they're smudge proof but if you have like a makeup remover that's oil based or makeup wipes it will take them right off and it's not that complicated next I've been also eyeing this product for a while I also wanted it in white but they had sold out this is the uh, chroma line in black black again and this is great I used it in my lizard a video and I absolutely loved it. It's super black. It's even more black than black track from Mac And this is smudge proof and waterproof, which is great I love this. I was kind of scared because I was scared if they had the same formula as a paint pot because paint pots tend to crease on me Sadly, but they don't these are just if once they're on your skin They are not going to move and just gonna stay such a long time on your skin, which is amazing for Halloween makeup and you can also use this for creating like a winged liner or whatnot if you don't want it to smudge this is awesome these are my favorite powder palettes to use for Halloween and these are the sugar pill palettes I do have another palette from sugar pill it's more on the metallic -y side uh, but I haven't used it till now for Halloween so that's why I'm not showing you the palette in this video but these are palettes that I tend to grab the most when it comes to Halloween makeup and I can just wear them on their own doesn't really have to be for Halloween really so um, I have the um, Heartbreaker palette I have the Sweetheart palette and I have the Burning Heart palette and I'm gonna start off with the Burning Heart which it's awesome because they have all the colors written in the back and uh, they come in really big sizes so they look a lot like the Makeup Forever pans they are huge super pigmented so this is why I love them so this is Burning Heart and then you have Sweetheart. And then you have a Heartbreaker. And also from Sugar Pill, they have their black. I had to get one separately. Sadly, this one does not come in their palette, so this is why I got it separately. But now they have this big palette that you can get all of the colors in there which I do recommend you to get that one rather than having them separately like I do but this is definitely the blackest black eyeshadow I've ever used in my life I love this black 
and for me to say that I love a black shadow it's very very rare because most of them tend to go on like a really dark gray rather than black and that annoys me so much this is the black black and I love the name of this called bulletproof and it's so cool it's just literally a very dark black so these are colors that I do recommend you to get if you want to do artistic makeup again. Now I'm going to move on to special effects uh, makeup, um, things that I do use. I don't really do like gore makeup or like crazy makeup. So that's why I don't really have them in bigger sizes. I don't just have smaller sizes. And I... I actually get these from the Halloween store. I try to make sure that I get them Mehron because I'm not allergic to that company, which I'm really, really happy about. So uh, I have the Mehron Liquid Latex. And this is in the Flesh Soft Beige color, so when it dries, it kind of dries to your skin tone color, like a beige. And I also have a white one, which I kind of prefer more because it dries transparent, which is easier if you want to blend it or put any color on top, which is great. This one tends to kind of look weird if you want to add like a green on top, you're going to be like, but what is that? I really like these. I get them in a smaller size and they come with like a brush so like that you don't ruin your brush because liquid latex, it is a hassle. Once you get it on your brush, you definitely have to throw the brush away and I'm happy that these come with like mini, mini brushes. And I also have a stage blood from Mehran. This is a super sticky blood and it's like a thick thick blood which is amazing if you want to create like dripping blood down the face which is awesome I have a rigid collagen this one is to create somewhat cracks or scars on your face or on your body this is amazing to have again I just have them all in smaller formula because I don't use this every day just when it comes to Halloween this is when these come out and I also have a spirit gum, but I do not have a spirit gum remover, which I have to go get this year from the Halloween store. But spirit gum is really awesome if you want to stick um, stuff on your face, like it could be facial hair or, um, I don't know, spikes, glass, whatnot. You can stick with this. You have to apply it, tap it till it gets tacky, and then you stick it on the item that you want on the top of it. So that is all for my Halloween makeup and special effects products. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure if you have any questions, just leave them all in the comments down below. I'm also going to write all these products that you saw in the info box for you guys. So like that, it can help you out to easily go ahead and see them on there and maybe go ahead and buy them. And I'm going to try to leave all the links of the products that I that I showed you guys in the info box so like that it's also easier to go ahead and search them thank you guys so much for watching I have to run to work because I am going to be late and I'll talk to you later bye everyone thanks for watching